In this video, I'll be showing you guys an updated method of how to skip the wait time on GeForce Now without changing servers. So before I show you guys this method, I'm going to show you guys how much my queue is currently. So if I click play, as you can see, my queue is 414, which is obviously a lot. With this method, you'll have no wait time whatsoever. So the first thing you're going to do is uninstall GeForce Now. So you're going to click Windows key and R at the same time. You'll see this run window pop up and from here you're going to click you're going to type in appwiz.cpl. So I already have it typed in here. I'm just going to click OK. And then from here you're going to scroll down until you can see Nvidia GeForce Now. At the top you'll see uninstall slash change. You're going to click on that. And you'll get this pop up right over here saying do you really want to remove GeForce Now? click uninstall over here and now it's just going to be uninstalling click close if you're on browser then you're going to have to clear all your browser history so now that we have uninstalled geforce now you're going to go straight into your browser and you're going to go to the nvidia geforce now download website and from here you're going to click on this icon right at the top this account icon and from here, you're going to get redirected to your NVIDIA account. So what we want to do here essentially is click on use a different account and we want to make a new account. So I'll be back when I make a new account. So now that I've made the account, I'm just going to go straight and click join now over here. You'll be redirected to this page right over here where you can choose your membership. So I'm going to click on free. I'm going to click select over here. And then from here, I'm just going to download. So since I'm on Windows, I'm just going to click download right over here. And I'll wait for this to download. So once it downloads, I'm going to click on the download file right over here and you'll see this page pop up right over here. So you're just going to wait for it to download and I'll be back with this as well. Once it downloads, it should automatically open up. So you're going to be prompted over here. You're going to click agree and continue and then you're just going to click on login at the top. When you get redirected to this page, you're going to click on your new account that you made. So I'm going to click on the new account that I made right here. So now once I'm done this, I'm going to go back to GeForce now. And I'll be signed in right over here. So I'm just going to search up any game. So I'm just going to search up Fortnite, for example. And then I'm going to click play. And you do need to connect your Epic Games account. So I'll be back for that as well. So now that I've connected my account, I'm going to go and search up Fortnite again. And I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click play. And obviously the analyzing network pop up will show up. So you're just going to have to wait for that. So as you can see, with this fix, I only have 13 people ahead of me compared to the 400 people I already had before this. So obviously, this method is a lot better compared to the server switching method since you will almost instantly load in as you guys can see. It really only takes about 4 to 5 seconds. You can also switch servers as well with this method if the player amount is a bit higher to make sure you queue instantly. If you find that with your new account, your wait times are getting longer, then you can just simply make another account as well. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. In this video, I will be showing you guys the only way to skip the GeForce Now queue. With the recent patch of the old method to skip the GeForce Now queues, the only way now is to change around servers to see which has the lowest queue. So, if I head into GeForce Now and click play on the game I want to play, as you can see, I have 387 people in front of me, which will obviously take a lot of time. So, I'm going to exit out of here. And then I'm going to go to Menu, Settings, and then go to Server Location right over here. If you guys want to know which server is the best for low queue, there should be a video that pops up in the top right, which I highly recommend everybody watches. So, I'm going to click on one of the servers that I mentioned in that video, which was US East. I'm going to go back to menu, games, and then click on the game. You may get a pop-up like this saying that streaming is not recommended over your network or you may experience stutter or high latency. And this is the downside of this method. You will lag much more compared to the other method of making accounts, but I'd rather save an hour waiting for the queue than running the game smoothly. So as you can see, I have 100 people less compared to the original amount. This is also factoring in that I am playing on a peak hour. So what you can also do now is quit game and then experiment with other servers as well. So it's just a back and forth process of just experimenting with servers. So now I can just change it to another server. And as you can see, this server has 615. So I'm just going to go back and then keep trying other servers and just repeat this process. 
Anyways, I hope this video did help. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. I will be making a new video on how to skip the queue once a new method is found. So make sure you guys do hit that notification bell. Don't forget to watch the which servers are best for low queues video as well, as that video will help you find the best server to select. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the best servers for low wait times on GeForce Now. If you're like me, you hate waiting in long queues to play your favorite games. So, in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys which servers have the lowest queues so you can get into your games as quickly as possible. One of the benefits of GeForce Now is that it has servers all over the world, which helps to reduce latency and improve the gaming experience. However, this also means that the server you choose can have a big impact on your gaming experience, especially when it comes to queues. So, which servers are the best for low queues? Based on my experience, the following servers tend to have the lowest queues. US Northwest is a server that I always use if I don't want to wait in long server queues. It almost always has fewer people in the queue and loads in much faster compared to other servers. From my experience, it tends to have some of the lowest queues on GeForce Now. The only issue is that this server can get pretty high in wait queues at night. Another server I use is US Southwest. US Southwest generally has the same player amount in queues as US Northwest, but sometimes it has even fewer, ranging from 100 to 200 people at times. I always use this server if Northwest is overloaded. Like the other two servers, US Southeast typically has half the amount of people in the rig compared to my closest server. However, this server can get pretty overloaded at peak times and it's not something that I would recommend before US Southwest and US Northwest. US West, compared to the other servers I mentioned, does have higher queues, but I've noticed that US West tends to stay more consistent than the other servers throughout the day. This server tends to have shorter queues during the late evening and early morning hours. With US Midwest, it's pretty much 50-50. Some days I've noticed that it's the most overloaded server. On other days, it has even lower queues than the Northwest and Southwest servers, even when the server is on peak hours. So it's definitely a server I would recommend to try after doing the previous four. US Mountain, compared to the other servers I tested, typically had less than the others. However, compared to the other 5 servers I mentioned before, it does have significantly higher player queues. During peak times, this server can get overloaded, which is why I would only recommend this server if it's the only one left out of the previous 5. Before you go ahead and change servers, I highly recommend you watch the How to Skip GeForce Now Wait Time Instantly for Free 2023 video which should pop up near the top right. This video shows how you can instantly skip the wait time without going through the hassle of changing servers constantly to find the best one. Realistically, any of the servers in GeForce Now can have low queues. It all depends on what time it is in that region. For example, the Northwest server has a low queue right now because it's in Seattle, and the time in Seattle as I am recording this is around 11am, which isn't considered a peak hour. Ideally, the best thing you can do to find a lower queue is to look for servers that are off peak hours, like the morning or late at night. I hope this video has been helpful in finding the best servers for low queues on GeForce Now. If you have any other tips or experiences with servers to share, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.